So right now I'm in Yoyogi Koen, Yoyogi Park in Harajuku. I've just finished my morning shift in my Baito, my part-time job. I'm having a break now, that's why I go here as it's very close to my workplace. We are planning to do a cute little picnic here together with my friends. They're on their way. While waiting for them, I'm just gonna stroll around and enjoy these beautiful autumn leaves. Look at the yellow trees. Seeing beautiful places like this always got me wondering how beautiful would the heaven be? A place so beautiful we couldn't even imagine it. I'm with my sister. I've always been praying to Allah to give me these kinds of friendships Friends who will get you closer to Allah Who will happily strive together in the path of Allah Because to achieve the true greatest reward of all time That is his paradise or Jannah as we call it Because we're not meant to live here on this earth forever, right? Our true home awaits us in the hereafter And of course we want to achieve paradise, right? But it's very hard to get there by myself Especially now living here as a minority in Japan, that's why I need these types of friendships now more than ever. I always say this to my friends and it's based on one of my favorite podcasts of all time from Omar Suleiman, how one day we will be reunited again, right? In his paradise, inshallah, if he wills and then we will speak to one another saying that, oh my god, you guys, we made it. We're finally here. We're gonna recall our time on earth saying things like, did you guys remember that day we were praying in the middle of Yoyogi Park, literally in public places and we just didn't care we do what we needed to do and now Allah truly rewards us look at us now we made it you guys we made it yeah I think that's just very beautiful that's why I'm really grateful Allah truly grants me my prayers my wishes because just like what Omar Suleiman said loving Allah is not like loving anyone else loving someone for the sake of Allah is not like loving anyone else for the sake of anything else I am personally the witness for that we are the witness of that Asma and Bota always said, Allah is so cool. Allah is the coolest. We're walking beneath the trees. Oh, you guys look so beautiful. <laughs> okay, so this morning I was working. So that's why I leave home earlier than them. But now we're united here. I still have one more shift at 5 but right now I have breaks in between like that, right? That's why I'm here with them. Oh my god, you guys, look at those bubbles! Whoa! We're currently in Yoyogi Koen. Is it a drop or it's his? It's his, it's his. Wow. It's red! Oh my gosh. 
I'm so unaesthetic. It's so rare. Who said so? The Honey, red would you vlog there? I wanna capture the, the moments. Oh, oh, look at them. So cute. <laughs> about Japan. They always have cotton candy sky. <laughs> Look at the crowd, you guys. <laughs> this is so cute. So many people. So earlier, I went back to my office because I have one more shift. I'm done working for the day. It was really nice because my last shift is my favorite student. I really love her so I always end my day with something good because I love her so much. I'm here with Ota san. It's just you and me. I'm also buying cinnamon rolls. You know when conversations can suddenly get super deep sometimes like one second you're talking about caramel popcorn and then next you're talking about your whole life problem and your entire existence so yeah that's exactly what happened here they're supposed to go shopping but turns out something happened i was back working right so they're just filling me in it's just so cool to see the way they communicate because they always bring it back to our religion to islam because islam has the perfect answer for all of our questions relying solely on our understanding our feeling it's very hard because as we know humans are full of flaws i'm just going to show you what i meant in a few clips but you know i didn't even know that i was i had the capability of suppressing feelings like usually i 
always say things out loud, right? But I was like trying to be patient, trying to be quiet, and clearly you guys realized that I was being quiet or whatever. You know what I thought? What? <laughs> Our child has been affected. <laughs> I thought you're mad that I tell you not to go too fast but was praying. <laughs> no, I was mad the entire time. Okay, based on that intention, what we're doing right now, is Allah going to be pleased with it? No. And, I, and then we were like, okay, we have our answer, now going back. And then I needed a break. I was like, my, my brain is busy braining and trying to solve this puzzle of a human being that God, I thought like you guys are having fun at Ikea, walking, <laughs> looking around, eating food. But then for me, the night started only after this problem got solved. We have less than two hours to shop. It's okay. Oh. We were eating very important food and updating our family for more about <laughs> the environment that she's in. <laughs> Otherwise, she'll be like an unaware human being thinking, all is well, I don't ask for something wrong and she's mad at me. I was like, since when was my mad when I tell her something about Islam? Good food, you guys! <laughs> it was hard for me to be honest with you when I wasn't honest with myself. Right, so how can <laughs> Therapy, therapy. <laughs> and then she's like, this is what therapy feels like, you know? We got to the root problem, mm -hmm. you know? And then she's like, and I was like, money, money. I charge in dollars, $20 per session. But yeah, it was really cool though. We so got, proud of you guys. But we got to the problem and I mean, we didn't solve it, but at least we know now what was happening. I was like, oh my God, this is so adult, cool stuff. <laughs> Communication is called communication. It's called communication. Oh my god, my parents are communicating. <laughs> We're teaching you how to communicate yeah. too. We yeah, are building healthy relationships. Yeah. Okay. Honey, I have food. Is that fun, guys? It's talking, right? Is it not sweet? No. Boo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay I'm gonna time lapse that. We're gonna see how dramatic as well. I don't think I was gonna be in the frame, bro. I was here. We have a very slow bus here. I mean, it's meant for like tourism or something. Look at how cute it is. My food is here. I ordered karaage to gohan. So we're about to pray. We just finished eating and Asma said we need to digest our food or you can feel pukish when you pray. There's no one here. It's literally empty. What time is it now? It's 9.15 and the campus is empty. Duh. Of course it's empty. I cannot go home because I haven't finished the essay and paper that is due tonight. 
sometimes do. Yeah, we try to finish it. Mm -hmm. After 3 p.m., all campuses leave.